They have eternal patience. They do not cheat any person. They look for no gratification from any person. They do not want to be known by people. They do not render any service to people so that they lord over them or to be compensated, but they serve in order to show the manifestation of the glory of God. Your joy will be full. The joy that is kept in store for the children of God is better imagined than described. It is so great that a great many people will behave like demented fellows because of the abundant joy. Those things you had never thought of, things you have never seen or heard, things you never expected would happen, these have now been bestowed to you unexpectedly. Do not allow anything or any circumstance or situation to drive you out from this kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ because this kingdom of ours is not that of pugnacity but the kingdom of peace, patience, humility and love. You should therefore wear these attributes as the armor of God because the attributes constitute the tradition of this kingdom. That is why wherever we find ourselves there will be no trouble, no combative tendency, no stealing and no commission of any act of sin. Sinfulness is the tradition of the world. Where you find people still quarreling it means they have not yet entered into the kingdom. They are still in the world. When you find any person arguing that he cannot come to come into brotherhood because members worship a human being, such a person is in the world. He has not yet entered the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Any person who expressed annoyance because somebody offended him is a man of the world that portrays the behavior in the world. All that glitters is not gold. The teaching delivered to you in this kingdom is not grievous and nothing can be compared with them except love, truth, patience, humility and peace. Do not allow yourself to be deceived by Satan when he shows you a city built and lined with gold and all types of delicious meals are prepared and kept for people who go there. The circulation of money is not controlled into believing that the city is the kingdom of God. That cannot be the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you not found people who quarrel and fight arrogating important positions to themselves? Do you not find thieves and robbers and murderers? Have you not remembered that Satan wanted to temper our Lord Jesus Christ with money so that he would fall away from the kingdom? Realizing what he was trying to do, our Lord Jesus Christ told him, Get thee behind me, Satan. Money and food have nothing to do in this kingdom. High attainment in education has no place here. Human beings cannot have a place also except he who has love and truth, patience, humility, meekness, faith, righteousness, lowliness of art and self-control. Brethren, it is not my intention to go further with you one stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen.